bonus. And here we go. You want to be right? Sensitivity equals fucking poverty. Insensitive culture of the podcast. Check it out, homie. Do you think you want to stick around for the Batman conversation? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, so, um, guys, at this point, this is going to be our spoiler segment. So, you already know how that is. If you don't want to hear anything that has to do with the Batman, um, drop off. But you know what that sound means. <laughs> We're not going to talk about the Batman. Yo. Yo. Ruben, what's, what's good, bro? What's going on, fellas? Hey, what's up, buddy? Ruben. What's, <laughs> what's going on? Ruben Long time no see, buddy. We, have, we haven't seen you since, since Comic Con, uh, Comic -Con. Son? Comic Con, yeah. Since, since Comic Con. Yeah, so um, for, for anyone listening right now, uh, we've called our good friend Ruben Romero, who is the author of The Illusion Witch, uh, which is being published through Behemoth. Uh, now, which is congratulations on that, my yeah. man. Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, and uh, many other projects that he's attached to, uh, so you will become very familiar. It's like The Rock. He's got so much shit going on, dog. I love it. <laughs> I, I think I grabbed I'm a bunch more like copies. The, I'm more like the pebble right now. But, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. But, but you know, but you know that it, it, the, the momentum picks up, and you know, hopefully things will go good. You know, it's just about telling good stories, man. And, you know, I'm just appreciative of everything that God gives me. So. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, we have okay. uh, we have uh, Jason in studio from Pop Rock uh, also. Uh, okay. He said he's picked up a few copies. Yeah, All I own right. a comic shop in Rochester. Oh, OK. All right. That's what's I know up. Casey. All right. OK. Yeah, me and Casey. Yeah, we got a few things that we do together. We got a book called In Fairy that's going to be coming out soon and. Illusion, which is dropping, uh, should be dropping in the, if I'm not mistaken, in the April previews. If I'm not okay, mistaken. so I must have grabbed the other one, the inferior, whatever the one that was in Quite February possibly. previews. Yeah. I think he had a, Casey had a Quintara Stone, which is another book that he's doing right now, which is on on Keen Spot. It's crazy, man. It's like like one year, like like two years ago, we were like, okay, let's let's just do make comics and let's do this for real, and now we're here, and it's like. It's wild, and like we still want more. You know, it's in, in terms of like just wanted to accomplish more and more goals. So, mm. oh, it's, yeah. it's been a crazy ride, and they're killing it. Never enough. Stay hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gotta have you back more, on the more, show more. just to talk about this whole ride, man, and how how you even made this move, yeah. and 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 where everything is moving to, and for sure, hell's yeah, hell yeah. Um, but for for tonight, I know we wanted uh, we wanted to talk to you about the Batman. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely um, it's definitely a movie that's on everyone's minds after this past weekend. And I know you loved it. Uh, you, you just had your second viewing. Uh, so uh, uh, let us know what your what your thoughts on the movie are. And this is our this is our spoiler segment. So it doesn't matter. You can free yeah. reign on, yep. yeah. on the information here. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, overall, like, you know, people throw the word brilliant around a lot. You know, I just, I, I just found it fascinating, right? Like, in, in terms of like, just sheer storytelling capabilities and 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 in filmmaking, right? Like, mm. they were able to like deconstruct Batman and reconstruct it in a way where it felt like it, it all felt really familiar, but it also felt all brand new, right? Mm. So. It's all in the DNA. Like if you go to zero year, year one, you know, catalyst, like you can go back into like Batman stories and see where like Matt Reeves, like really just sat down and said like, this is what I want from it. Right. So, uh, and then being able to bring these larger than life characters, uh, like Batman, like the Riddler down to our level. Right. Like I read a meme today that was, I guess meant to be funny, but I thought it was actually really like really smart. It was like, it was like Batman almost got smoked by a content creator. And it's like, hmm. it's the truth. <laughs> like, like, it's true because, you know, he was able to take the Riddler, somebody who, like, like Batman has has had enough, right? And, like, just approached it from a different extreme. 
And like mm-hmm. we see that nowadays, like in the in you know the dark web and like fringe groups that they're just wild, man. Like they go, they you know, and there's like twenty or thirty of them, but they their their voices are strong. So like I really love like that about the Batman, where it was it was able to create like this larger than life movie villain, but very relatable. Um, but so so yeah, man. I mean the, the the movie for me was just on every level it hit. You know, it was like the writing, the score, the performances. The suit, the suit is probably my second favorite suit I've seen, live action Batman ever. Mm. Um, I just that moment where he pulls the piece, uh, the bat piece off the middle of the suit, just to slice, yeah. just that to blade. slice a little police mm-hmm. tape. You know, mm-hmm. I thought it was. I was like, I was like, oh, that's that's so sick. That's so sick. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, Pants's performance. I mean, it just reminded me a lot. Casey says something that that really hit, uh, which was that it reminded him of like the Batman animated series. Yeah. Um, and like it, yeah, like I saw it a lot where like, it, especially in that, in that same scene where he's, he goes back to, to, to Riddler's apartment and the cop is like, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be in here. And he just looks at him. He doesn't even say a word. He just mm-hmm. looks at him and then he just goes back to, to doing what he was doing. <laughs> he would always do that in the animated series, you know? And like the cop just kept talking, you know? And he was just like, okay, fine. And he finally got comfortable with him, you know? But it was just one of those things where it was just like, you know, people, and it's also been very divisive. On, on both occasions that I watched the movie, as I walked out, I heard people saying that was the worst three hours they had ever sat through. What? So I'm, that's heartbreaking. I'm, I'm, that's heartbreaking yeah, to hear, bro. Wow. It, I don't like is. to hear that. It, it is. It is. Like I walked out of like I walked out of my my first viewing, and like the, literally, uh, the guy was. Uh, talking to his girl and he was like wow babe that was the worst three hours of my life never getting it back and and like somebody was like oh you seen spider-man he was like yeah i'm gonna have to rewatch spider-man and clean, cleanse my palate holy and, shit uh, and then <laughs> that's insane and then because the, they're looking for that that superhero movie that yeah over the top. Mm-hmm. yeah they wanted that marvel Kryptonite. yeah you yeah. know mm-hmm. yeah. but but again this was visceral this is uh, and right, Matt Reeves didn't right. lie, and, and and the critics didn't lie when they said that this is a this is seven. But with Batman, you know, uh, mm-hmm. it was it was it was. And again, like, why are we complaining? Eighty plus years of Batman, and he's been the world's greatest detective, and not fucking once have we seen him detect. Like like Christopher Nolan tried to give us like like you remember in the Dark Knight when he was like what was the fuck was he doing he was like shooting holes in a brick wall with like trying to reconstruct a bullet and yeah, a yeah. print. Right. I guess I guess that was and that was Bruce work. Wayne that was Bruce right. Wayne doing that detective that, work too right 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 and like 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 two thousand feet underground in like some bunker. Like this guy's in, in in Riddler's apartment. He's he's deconstructing the, the the traps and things that Riddler left him. Like the yeah. dude spent. Like go look up the the thing that impressed me the most uh, is is the suit time. Go look mm-hmm. at all the suit time mm-hmm. for all for all of the actors, and the run time versus the run time. Mm-hmm. Pattinson, Bat Pat blows him out of the water, bro. Oh he yeah. Lives, he lives in that suit. He lives in that suit in, yeah. in that movie. And it was and and again. It's a Batman movie. Now that's a Batman movie. You know one of the like, one of the best uh, things that that I enjoyed from this movie was that that detective work, the buddy cop aspect between mm-hmm. Batman and mm-hmm. uh, and, and uh, Gordon. Gordon, yeah. um, like that that was great. The relationship between Alfred mm-hmm. and and Bruce uh, was also something mm-hmm. that uh, that I really really loved. Um, because it felt like, uh, you know, like he was trying to shelter him, but also uh, he was very much his instructor, mentor, Same. like, you know, like, like he taught him how to fight. Yeah. Whereas before Alfred it felt like fight. It, it, whereas before it felt like, you know, Alfred's the butler, which, you know, he is. But this one, it felt like that was more of his it was more of his father figure. It was mm. it was everything that Alfred actually was uh, to him. Um and also, uh, one of the things that I, that I, that I miss uh, within this world too. We talked about it earlier. Uh, Matt Reeves came out and said he does not want to uh, introduce any other like Superman or any other heroes into this world, uh, which um, which I'm excited because he did such a good uh, job introducing the world, which is very evident that the 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 superheroes that he is going to introduce are in the Bat family. Um, starting with that kid in the beginning, which a lot, there's a lot of speculation that he may end up being Red Robin um, because of the, the, you know, the scene prior to 
uh, the Riddler actually like killing him. That opening um, scene. Yeah, yeah, it, oh, yeah it that like opening the scene. Ninja with his dad type thing. Yeah, he was doing like the ninja type stuff, and you know, and and hmm. hiding around hmm. and stuff. And a lot of people are playing around with the speculation that 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 was a little hint that he may end up being a young Red Robin, um, because those are a lot of the features, and, and you would know more because you guys are much more into the comic book stuff and know a lot more. Uh, but that's very interesting to me uh, to see that not only a, will we get another Robin because we haven't had one since what's his name? What the fuck is this? Chris O'Donnell. Chris O'Donnell. Chris O'Donnell. Chris, Chris, Chris O'Donnell. Chris, Chris O'Donnell. Yeah. Um, yeah I mean, I, I read something very interesting that, that Matt Reeves said today, you know, they asked him about Robin and, and he said, you know, it's, it, is it, is it possible that a teenager could be in this Gotham that you've created? And he said, he said, you know, it's all about an emotional crooks, right? About like mm -hmm. putting them through something, you know, giving them something emotionally to, to, to hold on to or to break them with, sure. you know? And he's like, could there, could there be potential there with that? Yes. There, you know, there is, but, um, you know, he's like, I don't, you know, he, he, he said it himself that he didn't know which story they were going to go. And obviously this is, sure. you know, I, I don't think they knew how big this was going to be, to be honest with you. I really sure. didn't think they knew that, uh, know that this was going to hit as hard as it hit. And, and, you know, everything that I hear in the interviews from him, there's a word that he throws around a lot is proto. Like, mm -hmm. oh, that's the proto Joker. That's, you know, that's, you know, that's, mm -hmm. uh, it's proto Gotham, you know, like every, you know, Batman has already been Batman for two years. Everybody else is kind of in their proto stages, right? Like their, 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 their shells or their cocoons, so to speak. And the Riddler was the kind of the first one who finds his identity, right? And now he gives us that scene at the end of Arkham. And, uh, and he talks, he's already talked about how they're approaching their Joker and how like, it's going to be more of a congenial or a genetical defect, kind of like yeah. the man, the man who mm -hmm. smiles or the yep. man who laughs. So like, yep. this guy's had to live like this his whole life. So like, again, like I find it really interesting how he's approaching like the, the gen almost like the Gotham show, right? But almost in reverse where the, the Gotham show showed us like, like it gave us all the birth of the villains and why Gotham needed a Batman. Well, in this case, it's more like Gotham was is so deteriorated that this vigilante came, and now all of these degenerates want to like step their game up and 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 don some sort of mantle, yeah. right? So it's like I, I find it really interesting, and he's doing it on a ground level where it's not you know mustache twirling and and you know bat bombs <laughs> and, and and stupid silly shit, you know? Yeah, and that's what that. We, we've mentioned it uh, all the time. Um, that's why we have individuals like you who are uh, very uh, knowledgeable when it comes to the comics, but we are more movie fans here um, that, you know, casually will pick up a comic here and there and, and get into these stories. But I personally like that, uh, that realistic twist where a lot of people are upset that, that they keep taking a realistic twist to it. I like when they can balance it. I think they did a, a very, very great job, in my opinion, um, of of uh, giving us the most Batman that we've ever we've ever had in a movie, while making it uh, a very interesting um, detective esque uh, uh, thriller, um, which in some elements, like, um, and I was watching something too of. Um, that were uh, pointing out the, the fact that like the, the, the use of, of like John Carpenter style of directing mm -hmm. uh, when he, when he came out with Halloween, that was so groundbreaking uh, you know, where the Riddler was hiding in the shadows in the beginning mm -hmm. and, you know, seeing, seeing the, 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 the view, the point of view of the killer through, mm -hmm. through the, through his eyes um, like Michael Myers did through the mask uh, th little things like that. That's just great cinematography um, learning from, from the best um, to where it kind of surprises me that the people that are so vocal about how horrible this movie is are obviously people who, who don't, who just want explosions and they want that yeah. fast type uh, of, 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 of cinema. They want jokes. Um, everything has to be, yeah, they everything wants they want everything to be in your face. They want a new you know? Fast and Furious movie. Exactly. Yeah. That's why those movies do so fucking well. Word. Um but 100%. but any any type of movie that makes you think and and like you're 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 going through the motions like man, you know, you're going through every single scene just trying to discover like 
what's what's he picking up now? Like what's gonna happen here? Um, and and the fact that they took everything from the Zodiac Killer, um, that's who inspired the Riddler yeah, in this heavily movie. Zodiac. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Heavily, yeah. right? For sure. Yeah. Um, the look and everything. I, I mean, I think my favorite uh, part of the whole thing great. is the fact that Batman didn't really win. Like he didn't solve the crime. Like fucking no. Riddler basically gave himself up. And then at the then Batman's like, oh wait a minute, that oh shit, he lived right here this whole time. <laughs> like yeah. it was it was very year two, very early on. You could see him working through Ooh. it, which I absolutely Ooh. appreciated. Really working through, try to figure everything out. But then like once fucking everything start, I mean the whole city's fucking flooded. Like he didn't stop yeah. anything from happening. Yeah. He has the Riddler, but again, that's because the Riddler fucking literally gave himself up. And the whole time, the Riddler thought he was, like, partnering with Batman and shit. That, but, yep. like, yep. that's... Thought, he thought they were friends. That that was my, the, yeah. my, my, my favorite thing about it is that, you know, like, it really just showed that it wasn't... He wasn't a super superhero. He's just... He's learning the ropes, and, and hopefully we got more uh, a story to, 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 to get out of this, you know? Oh, for sure. And um, Danny, Danny, my brother, uh, who, who's a very big uh, comic book reader and he loves all of these stories. He brought up a very good point, too, that this was the first movie where they showed, uh, uh, um, you know, he, he was excited that Martha Wayne, um, that they came out and said that she that she was, you know, committed to the asylum. And yeah. she, you know, there's there's some insanity like the in the family. family or some shit. Yeah, well, there's some, and also there's some insanity there, like it, which was the first like acknowledgement that Batman is is actually, you know, kinda, like it runs crazy. in his family, yeah. like he's fucking, ca- yeah. he's he's fucking crazy. Yeah. Which yeah, I've always yeah. said it. Which I've always said that uh, the, that that's the beauty of Batman and right. the Joker. Like every time they battle each other, it's because they're they're two sides of the same coin, man. They're both fucking insane, but one they're one not. is insane for justice, and the other one is insane for fucking chaos. Um, right. and, and, you know, and, and the fact that they just acknowledge that, well, that's always the thing, right? Is that he's, what well, they keep puts, he puts him back in Arkham. He keeps putting any sane person would kill the Joker. That's <laughs> what they say, you know? Any sane person yeah. would kill him. Yes. Diana, says, Diana, even Diana says it, I think in injustice, she's like, how many times, like how many times are you going to put these people in Arkham? You know, like. So, yeah, it, yeah no, 100 percent. Like, I think, you know, when it comes back to to everything, like it, it, in terms of the movie. Uh, yeah. Like there's even a, an acknowledgement to your point where, where Batman Gordon says something and, bat, and, and and he bats, looks at him and he's like, you know, like it or not, we're in his game. You know, it's the Riddler's game now. You know, we just got to play this thing through the end and, yeah. and bring this guy out to the light, you know, like he wants us to. And in the end, he plays that guy's game and he loses, but he wins. Right. He, he learns that lesson where. It's he is a very cruel lesson for him to learn, you know what I'm saying? But he needed to learn it very quickly if he was going to survive, which was he can't be vengeance, right? And that's what I loved throughout the whole movie was even Peng, Penguin, hey, vengeance, vengeance, hey, honey, this is vengeance. Like, it's not even Batman. It was like everybody knew him as, like, this guy who was going to beat you down into mashed potatoes. And like, it, you know, and that, and that still may, will be true about Batman. He will beat you to a pulp, but it's going to be more about bringing hope. Right. And like that last scene where the lady doesn't want to let go of him when she, when he's putting her into the, the helicopter bed, like yeah. I was just like, I was like, there you go. Like people talk about, Oh, there's no, there's no emotion. There's no heart in the movie. I'm like, man, there's a ton of it. Zoe, Zoe, uh, Zoe Kravitz gives it in a, in bucketfuls. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I don't know how people can say that this movie is not a good movie. But <laughs> that's the world we live in nowadays, as you boys know. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. So I I, don't, I might be in the minority here, but I thought Paul Dano was a fantastic Riddler. Oh, he killed it. He's, he's, he's a great yeah. actor. But personally, just seeing him in, like, There Will Be Blood, I thought he was going to go harder. Because, like, he, he went hard. Don't get me wrong. He was awesome. But seeing him, if, if you guys are familiar with There Will Be Blood, he was the preacher. And there was a scene in particular where he was yelling so hard, his fucking face was shaking. And it was rad, bro. Yeah. And that was something that Daniel Day-Lewis, I feel like, coaxed out of him. Yeah. Like, they, they mm-hmm. fed off of each other in that movie. And that could have been why he went so hard. But when I thought of him in this movie, I thought... 
Jesus Christ, this guy is going to fucking murder this role. And he didn't quite go for Daniel, for, for Paul Dano. Like it went, he, I feel like he pulled it back a little bit. Like he was very soft spoken and he nah, had his I moments that where there he was would yell. But, it, but they were uh, uh, maybe off camera moments. There were the recordings of, of mm-hmm. the Riddler. Mm-hmm. When there was the recordings, he was like, and, and when he did the FaceTime uh, uh, riddle where he did the three riddles, he was going like, his voice was super booming and he was yelling really yeah. hard. But that was that was just probably those uh, few scenes. I, and, uh, I, no, go, go ahead, Ruben. Well, I was gonna say, so, uh, according to Reeves, he, <laughs> according to Reeves, uh, the studio was mad at him because he let Dano like call the call the takes, right? Like mm-hmm. anytime he was on camera, and apparently he wouldn't say which scene it was, but the, apparently there was a scene that they got, they did over two hundred takes. Oh because, damn, that's because, Kubrick style, bro. Because, that's because bad. Dano, <laughs> because Dano was just kept like kept bringing it back, you know, and he would want to do it again. So I would love to know, like. I would love to have been a fly on the wall in that studio. Oh, like, hell yeah. Like that, that would have been, that would have been brilliant. But no, I feel you like I wanted him. Like, I don't know. Like there was, there was an eeriness to him. There was a, there was a scariness to him. Yeah. But mm-hmm. there was also like, I really wish that him, that they would have gotten, I, I think like that, that for, for what you're asking for, Mm-hmm. is it would have taken him and Panson to have been face to face like an interrogation we, scene yeah, like yeah. dark knight right. style right, right. like right. at the or table if he been, smashing or if heads he would have been at, at Gotham Square Garden you know what i'm saying like if he yeah. would have been at that at that last showdown mm-hmm. and they could have had a moment but the glass between them it kind of breaks that moment and that moment is more about i think in my opinion that more that moment is more about the mirror the the mirror moment right like we needed to to know that about the riddler about about like that he thought that he was working with Batman the whole yeah, time. Right. You know what I'm saying? And because we're under the impression that he's just fucking with him. Yeah. And, and in reality, he's not, he's, he's really like writing to him. Like you're my best friend. Like, right. Hey, we're going to be, we're pals, yeah. you know? And that's, that was like the craziest part. And Ruben, then when he Ruben. starts yelling, yeah. What's up? Oh no, sorry, buddy. Go, no, go ahead. Yeah. I didn't, no, yeah. no, I was yeah, just going to, yeah. I was just going to toss in there that, um, that also, uh, I want to, I want to point out that um, at the end, he was very, very, like, extremely angry. That's when he started to really put it out. And you said it, like, the, the glass really took away from that. But um, also, I, I don't think that this is the last time that we're going to see the Riddler. Mm. And I think that, especially with them confirming that uh, Arkham Asylum is actually going to be an HBO Max series now. Oh, my um, God. So, so with, <laughs> with, with all of that, I, it's not going to be the last time that we see uh, Paul Dano in that role. And I think that we're going to see a much more um, unleashed, vet, uh, yeah, unleashed, uh, 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 angry uh, Riddler that now is hell bent on making sure that Batman is, um, you know, that Batman is, is miserable. And, you know, <laughs> they're all going to, I, I personally, I think that's where the show is going to go. Um, it's going to lead up to an Arkham style, you know, Arkham breakout. And mm-hmm. it's going to be like Arkham Asylum, the video game where mm-hmm. everyone is broken out. And now Batman has to deal with all of his demons um, that have been released into the world kind of thing. But we won't know until we get to that point. But Ruben, I was going to ask you if you thought personally that the Riddler knew who Batman was like the, the Bruce Wayne there, the way he was saying the Bruce Wayne at the end, you know, over and over where we, the audience clearly thought that like, Oh shit, the gigs up. And you see, you see Batman look up at the security camera when, you know, Riddler says Bruce Wayne Mm -hmm. and he's like, Oh shit. Like, is my shit fucked up now? Like he, he thought his shit was blown. Do Mm -hmm. you think, do you think that he was toying with him? Was he keeping it on the DL? Like, how did you, how did you feel about that? Uh, no, like the first time he said it, I was like, oh, that's a brave choice. Like, I thought it was really like, I was like, okay, Matt Reeves, you're going to go there where like he knows. But by the second time he does it and then he goes off into the tangent about mm-hmm. how like he couldn't get to him, you know, he couldn't get him and mm-hmm. that, and that they couldn't, you know, they couldn't get him, but they, but now that everybody, now everybody knew the Wayne's sins. Right. Mm-hmm. So I was like, mm-hmm. oh, okay. I'm like, you're not, I'm like, you're not that smart. You're not that fucking smart. So, uh, yeah, but that first Bruce Wayne, I, for a minute there, it got, it was a gut check. Cause I was like, nobody's ever done that. No, right. nobody's ever, nobody, you know, 
it, at least right in, the, in the man. movies. Yeah, right yeah. called the them, called them out, right. like called them out like that. I was like, so Damn. I was like, okay, but but yeah, but now nah, once he went off into the tangent, I was like, oh okay, now nah, this guy's still blinded by the light. He's, right. He's 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 smart, but he's not that smart. He doesn't see it. And and it's and it, and and again, you know what's funny to me is is it's always weird that these that these in Batman is that they don't put it together. Like, how do you not like the most reclusive billionaire in the world? <laughs> right. Yeah, and then the vigilante in the same city. What do you think is happening? I mean, and he always know. looks like he's sleep deprived too. Yeah, for real, for real. like all the time, like all the time. So, like, listen, if there was a real life superhero, I'd be knocking on Jeff Bezos' door first. I'd be like, yeah, okay, you're, 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 the, you're the only one that can afford to do this. So, where's the Bezos cave? Show it to me. You know there we go. Like, let me see. <laughs> Oh man. Um also I, I wanna throw out there uh Zoe Zoe Kravitz. Yeah. No. Um she was she was dope, dope catwoman. I love excellent, excellent um catwoman. I love the uh the chemistry be- between both of them. Um I thought that that was uh, amazing. Um and I believe she she recently came out and said that she actually uh went for the role in uh the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, they told her uh, she was it, too it wasn't. Urban. She too it wasn't young. Too yeah, young. Yeah, it wasn't. No, too urban. They How weren't going the though? urban route. Is what they said. <laughs> urban. Um, and that was and, uh, that was, uh, that, was, that, was pre, that was pre Harvey Weinstein. Exactly. Yeah. Weinstein. Yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't. Yeah. It, and yeah, she like, she what, did she did try to save 2011. She did try to save face for uh, for Chris Nolan. Said it wasn't from Nolan directly. It was it was a casting, yeah, casting director. director. Yeah. yeah. Um, who said it? But that, that those were the words. Too urban, and now she fucking demolished that role. It was also Which, by the way, her, in her career, right? So she was. Mm-hmm. Uh, she didn't her have much John going Turturro, on. uh all of them played amazing roles. Everybody, in this Colin movie. Farrell. All Colin Farrell. Farrell. I gotta give, I gotta Colin, give Farrell. Colin Farrell his flowers. Yeah, because, yeah, buddy. Because you know, is the what? Penguin like, show dude, confirmed? Like, uh, yeah, the yes. Penguin show is confirmed. Um, yes. And it. he's he's just he ate up every fucking scene mm-hmm. he was in. I mean, he stole the scene from. I mean, you know, Batman was beating the shit out of everybody in the iceberg lounge, and the minute that camera turns, and he's like, "Ah, oh, you're everything you say say you are." I was like, "Oh, look at this guy!" And then yeah. just <laughs> yeah. just his just his swag, man, and 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 and, and like when he was when he was uh when he was uh being interrogated, and he still had that arrogance. Yep. Well, he was like, oh, he was like, look yeah. at you too. He was like, neither you speak Espanol. <laughs> <laughs> look at you, yeah, the two world's greatest detectives. Right. Right? Like, yeah, yeah. He was such like he was like Tony Soprano, but the painter, yeah, he didn't you know? give a fuck. Like, he was so badass, man. I loved it. But and then at the end, again, very Batman animated animated series where they just leave him tied up and he's waddling. Like a, like, like a penguin, like a penguin, <laughs> like a penguin. That was true. dope. Yeah, yeah that man, was awesome. I'm just like, I'm like, man, how do you not, you know? And then the unsung hero of the whole fucking movie that nobody talks about, the fucking Batmobile. If that shit wasn't oh, the raw shit. I've said, seen, everybody you know, that I talked to about it, I've said this is, it was one of the best car car chase scenes, I've ever seen. Um, the the introduction of the Batmobile in that scene <laughs> was fucking that motor rumbling, mm-hmm. like just mm-hmm. roaring. Yeah. I was like, damn, this shit is fucking like that shit made demon. me that shit made yeah. me want a fucking classic car, bro. That shit and it, I it really your body's fucking, rocking in the theater too. I seen so it like in the you Dolby feel that shit. shit. So the yeah, movie, I saw it in the IMAX. Seats were fucking th- rumbling. Like, <laughs> this is yeah, I love that fucking I leaned so over crazy. to my girl <laughs> the second the second time I saw it, I saw it in IMAX, and I saw it with my girl, and I leaned over, and I was I was like, babe, I was like, cover your ears, give <laughs> <laughs> her a heads up. It's, it's um, gonna get loud. <laughs> but that that reveal was so fucking amazing, and the best the best part, and I knew this before even walking in there, uh, was the fact that there was no CGI um, mm-hmm. in that. In that scene, like the, oh, the, the explosions, the yeah. fire, all yeah. of that was practical. Yeah. They did it the old fashioned way. Mm-hmm. Um, all of that was real flames and <laughs> real explosions. It was just dope. It was, it was crazy, crazy scene. I loved great, it. It was great. great. And you got to and you got to give it a t- give it off hats off to Nolan for being the the one to do that, especially in the Batman universe first. Because oh yeah, he, he flipped eighteen wheelers in the middle of Chicago and, and mm-hmm. took apart seven forty sevens in the middle of the sky like a true G. 
Uh, well, okay. and, and well, Matt Reeves yeah. really, really picked up the torch on that because it's easy, yeah. you know, like we see it in the, you know, we love the Marvel universe, but we know that they're shooting in a bubble. 99.9% of the, of the visual effects are, are all exactly that visual effects. Yeah. And we're talking about Pat, Pat, Pat was walking down a hall while they were firing guns at his suit. You know what I'm saying? So Can we they, talk about they, that suit for a they, second? They lit that scene with just the, the muzzle flashes. no. No additional lighting, no nothing, just the muzzle flashes. And that was that is fucking impressive. Yeah, Damn. it was it, it was such a beautiful movie. It's noticeable. Man. What were you gonna say about no, that? No, just the the suit, how it was absorbing shotgun blasts <laughs> from point two feet away. Like that was the most <laughs> sick fucking bat suit we've ever seen because he was taking live rounds, hot, multiple automatic gunfire, brought just off the chest at point blank, like. What the fuck and was a, up with that magical suit, bro? Like, yeah. did we and explain an, that? And an, over, and an overpass at about 45 miles an hour. Yeah, he's yeah, falling off. Yo, the, yeah, you fucking bounced that off was the truck. The wildest, the, yo. most, like, I felt realistic. the most realistic Batman got fucked up scene that I've ever seen when he fell off of that fucking yep. bike and was flying through the air. And I was like, yo, Batman just got fucked up. He got fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. And he yep. was still good. He brushes his oh, shit yeah, off. Oh, yeah, for he's sure. Like, yeah. I mean, he's fucking Batman, bro. <laughs> but he fucking that flew, suit was bro. Dope, though, bro. Yeah, he's taken <laughs> well, that thousand one, foot drops. Um, were you talk, you said you said off of a motorcycle? That, I don't, that's I don't remember what about? the fuck he was on. I, no, 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 no. He, no, he no, no. off like, the building. Jumped, yeah, yeah, he, he jumped the, off the building. The, the, the wing suit on. Yeah, where suit. his where his fucking he pulled out a fucking uh, wingsuit out of nowhere. Oh, yes, like this, yes, 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 yes. His his I mean, uh, his cape fucking wingsuit like, and then fucking yeah. hit some yeah. shit and fucking flew. Well, that's where he was just flying through the fucking. Oh, yeah. That was that so was kind realistic. Of a dumbass move, honestly. That was the one thing that I was like, why the fuck did you? <laughs> He's you young, really bro. thought He's that you're gonna go under a bridge and land, bro? Like it's a wingsuit, bro. Like that's not how those things <laughs> I mean, work. Yeah. He's like <laughs> yeah. a teenage Batman. He's learning, yeah. bro. Agreed. He's learning, Agreed. Bro. Nah, even no, he even, fucked himself even up when he too. hits, even when he hits the ledge, like you can see it. He hits the ledge of the building, and he. He's like, <gasps> like yeah, he's yeah, freaking yeah. out. Yeah, and yeah, then he like, you know, he, he was like, okay, I gotta do it, and he does the thing, and he jumps. But yeah, he like, has no choice he, at that point. <laughs> it's still, it's still so early on in his career where he's like, yeah, but he's but unsure. Like, and you take back, you take that, you take it back a minute and a half. That 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 scene between him and Gordon is probably one of my favorite exchanges ever of live action Batman and Gordon mm-hmm. together, where he's like. He's like, who's the mustache with the broken, you know, like he, like it was also nor detective. You know what I'm saying? Like the, yeah. the, the writing in the movie was, it was very Gotham, dude. Like it was just like, I don't know. I, again, I, for sure. I, I'm for, for sure. Whoever's listening is going to be like, this guy's a super fan. Boy. But, <laughs> but, but, I, but I am, I am like the minute they cast, they cast Pattinson. I was, I was in it from the minute they cast it. Like I was like, okay. Cause I actually wanted him to do it before Affleck. I, I was like, Oh, I want. I think they should cast Pattinson. And my boy was like, "You're crazy," and I'm like, "No." I'm like, "You need to go watch this, this, and this." And I was like, I, I, "This is why I think it works." And then the, the, we got Affleck, and then and then the, then we were supposed to get the Batman with Affleck, and mm-hmm. then we all know what happened with that. And then we got here, and then when the minute they cast, I was so happy. I was like, "Yes!" I was like, "This is gonna work a hundred percent." I was like, "If they don't, if they if they don't fuck this up, this is gonna work." And and they got Matt That's Reeves awesome. and. I thought he was brilliant, man. I, I love the Ape trilogy, you know, even though he didn't mm-hmm. direct the first one, but those, the, la- the the middle one and the third one I loved. They were uh, dope. Cloverfield, you know, Cloverfield mm-hmm. was a great movie. And he seems to get it. There's there's guys who get it, like James Gunn, you know, seems to get it. And Matt Reeves seems to get it. So it's in good hands, man, I think. Sure. I'm, su- I'm, surprised, they, I'm surprised they haven't already greened it. Like, I'm surprised they haven't made the announcement that, that, that Batman 2 is... Is on the way already. Oh, it's no, guaranteed. They, yeah, for guaranteed sure. that that's happening. Like, they're already yeah. talking about it. Yeah, it just hasn't been. It like, just for hasn't sure, been. for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> After this launch, bro, like they'd be fucked and stupid not to. Yeah. Panson um, is going to be like, what's uh, what was Robert Downey Jr.'s contracts? Yeah, that's what. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, what, what, I I that's what, what I want. Give it to him. <laughs> yeah, and give it to him because uh, he did amazing. Um, all right. So, um, anybody have any last thoughts uh, before we end this conversation? Can't wait for it to hit uh, HBO Max so I can peep it again. April, <laughs> yeah, um, April, April 19th. April 19th, yeah. HBO Max. Yeah, that's what's up. So fast, right? For real. Very 45 fast. days. 45 yeah. days. Yeah. 
It's yeah. a legit turnaround. <laughs> it's wild. I love it. I love it. It's great. Um, Ruben, thank you so love much it. for joining us on this conversation, bro. Yeah, bro. Um, nah, man, we definitely we appreciate you and um and like we've been talking about it we're going to figure out a way we're going to get you we're yeah, we'll we're going to get you on like this on a full episode so that uh we can nerd out in a lot of different shit and have some dope ass uh, conversations but until that day let them know what you have in store where they can um support you on whether it's kickstarter or uh whatever let them know uh what's coming out yeah uh so I don't have any solid release dates right now, but you can always follow me on Ruben the Writer on Twitter and Instagram. I'm on Facebook as Ruben Romero. I've got a writer's page and, uh, and a regular page. Uh, so, yeah, they, that's that's where they can find me. Uh, I do have books coming out this year for sure. Uh, like you mentioned, The Illusion Witch with Behemoth. Uh, so that's that's coming very, very soon. And, and, uh, and Fairy as well and another book called The Agency. And uh, other than that, man, just just working hard, and uh, hopefully we'll be launching a few Kickstarters here soon uh, in the in the next couple months. But other than that, just just doing a lot of writing. So Keeping if you want to follow down, somebody though. who's just uh, who's just nerds out a lot, just uh, <laughs> just follow me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we love it, brother. Uh, thank you again. Um, enjoy your night. Uh, we'll 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 keep in contact, bro. For sure. Same. For sure, Tell us, take it All easy. Right. Thanks, Thanks, buddy. Bye. Peace. Um, dope conversation. I, I I love that movie. is so good. Uh, you got you got to watch it. What right was now. the Batman with the with the Joker? Was like a like a Rasta type. It was a cartoon Batman Unlimited or something like that. Um, Do you remember that? I know what you're talking Fakely. about. Did he have dreads? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can picture that. I don't. That's how I, I don't feel know like what this that Batman because I remember watching it in the beginning because he was young. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he kept almost like there'd be times where the Joker would be standing over him with a gun. I was like, oh, that's not good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this one kind of reminds me of that, yeah. right? Because it's like he's young. He's, he's just still figuring started. shit out. He's still figuring yeah. shit out. Yeah. Sure. Very he's, evident. Very he's, evident. Yeah, he's not the Christian Bale. Michael Keaton got his shit together. Batman, like yeah. he fucks up, bro. Like, and that's that's what's dope. You don't see Batman fuck up normally. Yeah. And it was it was crazy to see. Is that They're Joker the Batman animated series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 not animated. Was that? Or was it? I thought it was. You said I'm, Joker I'm the Batman Joker, animated the series? Batman animated series. That's what I yeah, Joker. the Batman animated series. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was uh, the one where he had the dreads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dread. The Batman. Yeah, I, I have like yeah. flashes in my head. Which I like I, I liked that. it as it moved on yeah. the Batman. But the way you guys are explaining this movie, it's like he's kind of a punk, and he doesn't even figure it out at the end. So it's not really the Batman was really good. It was the movie was really good. The yeah, movie, the, the movie the was movie, very yeah. good. You know what I mean? um, like Batman kind of. I mean, this Batman but was like, still he's he trying didn't to figure out how he's to be just, Batman. He's just, yeah. But the movie was good. Yeah, yeah. he didn't yeah. suck. He's just. A lot of people, and we didn't mention it when when talking to Ruben, but a lot of people are, he was are kicking ass. Just comparing he it, kicked a lot of ass. There, he, <laughs> A lot of ass. They were comparing it to the Dark Knight, where in the Dark Knight, Bruce Wayne is mature. Even though we got to see in Batman Begins, like how it started, quote unquote, um, but uh, it, it didn't go that route. He was he was a mature Bruce Wayne, knew what the fuck he was doing, very confident. Uh, but we got that Bruce Wayne out of this. In this one, um, they're saying that he's a horrible Bruce Wayne, which I don't agree with because you can see the pain, the trouble. Um, that is going on uh, even when when he's in costume like you can just see that this Batman is numb to a lot of shit and he's going through trauma and all of this shit he's very very young and it wasn't until the end that was the lesson that he learned was I don't uh, uh, like I, I was going about this all wrong I'm I was trying to be vengeance when I need to be the hero and and like that was a lesson that he learned by the end so the next the next time we see him yeah. as batman um or bruce wayne you'll notice that he's he's now trying to get out of that like get himself out of that that mindset yeah but in this movie even when he's talking to alfred he's just pissed pissed he's angry he's uh, i mean it, it, emo. you could just emo is kylo, kylo ren, ren. Yeah. yeah 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 kylo <laughs> ren if kylo ren uh, uh kylo ren is more of a bitch than than i would say uh, about uh bruce for yeah. sure but, but the yeah. hair the hair is the <laughs> yeah. hair is kylo renish for sure yeah, yeah, yeah i'm so just i'm just trying to picture without it. seeing it yeah sure sure i'm just trying to picture how that plays out which to me it's okay 
I mean, uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> right. But, April 19th. But it's not, it's not, um, it's not about Batman. It's about everything else that builds up Batman, that makes Batman. It's really, it's really, it's really about Gotham. Well, it's really about yes, Gotham yes, in general. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Because there's a lot of Maroney, a lot of uh, um, Falcone. Falcone. Um, there's a lot of that going on as well. There's that whole, you know, the, the Catwoman and, and, and her, the, the Selena Kyle story, all of that. This, uh, yeah. And, and and even a little of um, Gordon as well. So, yeah, yep. it, it is kind of a, a Gotham story with, with Batman as the vigilante. As um, the narrator. But it's a good the, base to build. Yeah. But we a see it like it's more, more about movies. like the criminal, the criminal aspects are taking mm-hmm. way more of a lead. Like I, if anything, if, if this expands to, to two, three movies, I think we're just going to get more villains and more and more villains, especially since he said like, we're not getting, you know, all these crossover superheroes. Um, what we are going to get right. is all the big, you know, what do they call it? The um, rogues gallery. The big oh yeah. Yeah. I think it's interesting con- conceptually, the fact that he's not um, just like punching everything and he's there's a learning process because batman has you beat before he walks in the door Mm -hmm. he's already got you beat but not in this movie not yet he's not that guy yet no and and you can still see where he is smart um like he's very smart in this and like certain like when we we talked about earlier he walks on the crime scene and this is when gordon is like going against everybody else and he's trusting him uh, mainly because you know there was a, a note for him but he walks on the crime scene and everybody's like what are you doing And instantly he's just like looking around, he's looking around and he spots like a blood, like he just stopped. He doesn't say anything. Um, and he, he walks up to like a a blood splat that splatter that was on the floor. And, uh, you know, the people who are analyzing everything and taking pictures of everything, see what that he looks at it and he just walks away. And then she's like taking pictures of, it's just, it's just the way that his mind works. You can see that he's picking up everything that's going on in that room, but at the same time, he's so he's so young yeah. that he he's has a lot to, to work. Be a like you get, yeah, well, you get it, all of that. I it's mean, so think, good. Think about it, right? So you're you're taking you're walking back, Batman, because Batman in all these movies goes and learns how to fight with the League of Assassins and learns how to you know it's right. all mm-hmm. a lot of punch and kicking and yes, okay, he's fighting in this movie. From what I'm hearing, he's mm-hmm. still a badass. But you're you're you also think about you can't if you're Batman and you're you're that bad, right? You can't do that forever. Right. Yeah. You can't do you can't fall off a you building no. all the time. Yeah. Right. You can't take all them right? Mm-hmm. So eventually, right? You got to learn how to be better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? To avoid those things to be smarter, mm-hmm. right? Cuz uh, because right now he's pissed. So what do you do when you're pissed? You punch shit. Punch yeah. yeah. You but, lash but, out. Right, but now but he's going to learn mm. how to be the Batman mm. that we yeah. Yeah. we know yeah. and love. And yeah. that's what this trilogy feels like yeah, it's setting like up. Evolution. We're going to see that growth that we have not yeah. seen before. Right. Bat- Batman's just always been like Batman. Like right. you know he's going to fuck you up. He knows everything like there's, you know, you really got to figure something out if you're going to beat him, but like this Batman is not unbeatable yet and this might not even be a real detective movie it's a movie that leads to the fact that he's he he, it leads to him being a detective Mm -hmm. you see what i mean it's it's leading up to because right now like you said at the end he didn't really get it right so he's he learns that right i mean it is a detective movie like it's just that he guesses wrong really is he ends up guessing about i mean you said you don't care about spoilers right so he ends up guessing that it's the penguin and one of the riddles, and it ended up being this whole. It was this play on words and the riddle and shit. Um, but 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 that's why it's totally. A, let's what did they say earlier? Or you guys said earlier seven. It's totally seven, yeah. man. Like you're just trying to figure out what in the fuck seven it's mixed seven with the zodiac, zodiac killer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's a lot so of he, cipher it's, deciphering. It's definitely, and, but it's a it lot just, of that. It's, it's just a lot that of he doesn't figure it out at the end. Uh, in in like. But I don't. I, I, maybe I'm making it sound bad when I say that because I feel like you. It, it, right, we're not sad at the end. Yeah, like, oh, Batman it's lost. The, it's like, like it's if you still... think about it a certain way, then you're like, hey, you know what? Actually, Batman didn't figure it out. Um, but that's not the way the movie really like pushes it. Like he still fucking. He still got to he the still point got where to he, the point where he figured it out. So yeah. so really, what it came down to, and. Uh, um, 
it's not that he didn't figure it out. He did figure it out. He figured out the riddles. He, he it was just walked, a little too late. He walked, he walked Gotham, him through Gotham all of that. Was flooded, bro. No, 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 no. But at, but at the end of it, what he found was that it was like, even though he figured it out, everything was planned by the Riddler. In, 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 this is why you can't, by the way, this is why you can't put Superman no. and all these guys in here because he's not ready yet. Oh, no, oh, no, hell no. You no, know, no, he's not yeah. ready yet. Oh, no, no, no. He's not Super, even a big, Superman he's not big time yet. Flew he's right not, in there, fuck some dudes up. Yeah, you're right. He's, he's not over. big time. He's not ready yet. <laughs> he's not big time. No, he's not big time. But um, so, that's cool. But yeah, you definitely check it out. It's 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 worth watching. You have another month, uh, so, you know, yeah. and uh, <laughs> before it's on HBO Max. But if you absolutely can't wait, I would recommend a theater watching other than uh, the only, the only con really that I, that I, I didn't like about it uh, is that it was three hours is pretty is three hours long. There were certain scenes where I'm pretty sure they could have shortened them up just a tiny bit yeah. just to make it flow yeah. that much better Nothing major. to where, to no. where it didn't feel like it was three hours, mm-hmm. but you still get that feeling of this was three hours at the end of it, even though all of it was great. Um, there, there were certain little parts where they would be like, oh, the, okay, this, this scene right here could have been a little bit shorter. They could have tightened this up and it would have made for yeah, I think even you know, said a better feeling overall. Online, I think I, I had seen a post where he had said like they could have taken a good 12 to 15 minutes off of this movie and it would have felt this, just, just the same. Just tightened it up. But then again, then we find out bit, from yeah. fucking Matt Reeves that there was a whole scene with the Joker that they cut out. That yeah. yeah could have been that dope as hell, and that is coming dope. on the uh, uh, the bonus materials or whatever. I don't know if that's going to yeah. be on the HBO yeah. Max, but it'll be on the on the Blu-ray or yeah, whatever. Yeah, on the, on the yeah. Blu-ray, uh, uh, yeah, stream purchase, whatever. Um, Anyways. all right, guys, but yeah, but uh, <laughs> yo, uh, bro, thank you so much, Jason, for, for joining us Jason, on this episode. Yeah, Thanks for sticking um, through. Dope pickles. Thanks for, yeah, ch- chilling with us the entire time. Our swag. Um, Thank your thank your wife for us as well because uh, because <laughs> she was just like it's, it's gonna last that long <laughs> yeah yeah and longer it does I'm, us. Yeah. I'm waiting for the text oh you, <laughs> you didn't get, you didn't even get a text yet no. uh, that's a queen Still? right there I do it every I do this every Tuesday and every now and then I get a text like yo what's up <laughs> uh, so I understand I understand uh, but thank you bro thank you so much again just for in sure. case for whatever reason they didn't get the message. Let them know. Let yeah, them know. Pop Rock, forty five Euclid Street, Rochester, Euclid. New York. Oh, <laughs> uh, they have. Yeah. yeah, you can check us out at um, poprochester dot com or at Pop Rock Culture on the Instagram. Yeah, the gram. Perfect. Thank you so much again uh, so, for all the goodies for uh, for all of your knowledge for, and just just for having just a for dope chilling, ass conversation so with us. Yeah, and chilling appreciate with it. us. So uh, we definitely appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Uh, but guys. You already know, uh, unless anybody else has uh, anything to offer on this stellar, stellar conversation, we've reached the end of the show. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Uh, That means you really rock with us. Uh, Remember to have your friends and family rate, review, subscribe on the podcast, on their favorite app. Um, If you uh, want to... If you want to support us financially, uh, go over to insensitivemerch.com where we did drop two uh, Batman shirts. So mm-hmm. uh, cop those, Word. pick those up. And if you're really into that nerdy shit, we're just not nerdy enough for you. Remember, go to your favorite podcast app, search DFAT Entertainment, where you will have a list of uh, nerdy podcasts with individuals that are so much more knowledgeable on comic information than we are. Uh, But other than that, guys, peace. peace. Peace.